Hey guys, all right, so in this lesson, I'm gonna show you how to rewrite an expression using the distributive property. Now, please understand that there are, um, there, th there's a lot more to the distributive property than what I'm gonna teach you, the, uh, but I'm gonna show you kind of one aspect of it and why it goes with the latter method, and that's where we're gonna go from there. So that I'm gonna, uh, it'll make more sense once we do some examples, okay? All right, so we have, let me do an example. Example one. <laughs> I would like you, it's gonna say, to rewrite an expression, 72 plus 24. It's gonna ask you to rewrite an expression using the distributive property. So I'm gonna show you how to rewrite it, and then I'm gonna explain how the distributive property works, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these two numbers and you are going to prime factor them. Okay, just like we've done in the past. So 72 and 24. So just like we've done, I need a prime factor that goes into both. And I, the first one I'm thinking of is three. So 72 divided by three is 24. And 24 divided by three is eight. All right, so I'm gonna look at my ladder. Now I'm gonna decide, is there a prime factor that goes into 24 and eight? And yes, there is. They're both even numbers, so I'm gonna choose two. 24 divided by two is 12. Eight divided by two is four. Again, we can keep going. We still have some even numbers here. Two, 12 divided by two is six. Four divided by two is two. And we're gonna go again. <laughs> okay. So now we're at the very bottom. We've done the whole ladder. If the ladder part got you confused, just go back. You should watch it probably other lessons, but all right. So this is how it works. I know it's gonna be a little wonky. We're gonna take the GCF, which we have to find multiplying all these numbers together. So over here, the GCF is three times two times two times two. So let me multiply that on my calculator. Three times two times two times two. So the GCF is 24. And then we have these numbers down here at the bottom. These are just kind of left over for now. So this is how you write using the distributive property. You take your GCF, which is 24, right? And then in these parentheses, you add these two numbers together. So you write it as three plus one. So that is your final answer. And I'm gonna explain in a second why this is true. We just could use the ladder method to rewrite it. So let me explain why this is true. And you might have to rewatch this again for it to make sense. So if I were to just straight up add 72 and 24, right, I would get 96. Okay, so 72 plus 24 is 96. But again, we are rewriting. So watch this, this is the distributive property. Let me show you how it works. If you were to distribute, that means to multiply. If I were to take this 24 and multiply it to each of these things in here, you do 24 times three, which is 72 plus 20, oh, let me get a different color so you guys can see. 24 times one is 24. Again, we're getting the same thing. We're getting the same thing. We could also do, if we decided to do 24 times three plus one, we could add our parentheses first, 24 times four. It's still gonna equal 96. Again, the goal is that we're rewriting it. This is 96. So this was our original problem. This is it if we use the distributive property. This is also it after we distribute it. This is the part that I want you to remember. Lo um, doing the latter, this should not be new. The latter should not be new. The GCF should not be new. We, we've learned how to find the GCF. It's just kind of rewriting it like this. This is probably the only thing. And again, there's more to the distributive property for sure. So if none of this made sense down at the bottom, that is fine, ignore it then. Just focus on this, okay? 
these, the orange and the pink is the new. Okay, so we're going to do another example. I'm actually going to flip my paper for this one. All right, let's do rewrite the distributive property of 39 plus 27. Okay, so we're going to do the latter again. And I, the first thing I think of is 3 is a prime factor that goes into both. So that's 39 divided by 3 is 13. 27 divided by 3 is 9. All right. So I'm going to look at 13 and 9. And they are no longer share. We're done. They're, we're at the end of my ladder because they're not going to share one. So I'm going to take my GCF, which is 3. And you write it here. And then you take these numbers that are left over and add them in a parenthesis. So 13 plus 9. That's it. So we're just rewriting it. We're just rewriting it. All right. And I know if I'm going fast, please just rewind it. You can watch the examples again. You can just rewatch them. All right. I got one more example for you. Let's do another one. Last one. Oops, 28 plus 42. So we're going to go ahead, 28 and 42, 2, because they're even numbers. And we have 14, 21. And then I know that they're both, I know that they both share a prime factor of 7. 14 divided by 7 is 2 and 3. I can't go any farther, so you're going to take the GCF, which is 2 times 7, so the GCF is 14. You're going to write that out. And then you just take these numbers, and you write them just like that. And that's your final answer. Alrighty. Going to do great. I know there's a whole lot more to the distributive property than this, but I wanted to show you just the basics. Um, and in this case, this is all you need to know.